Good afternoon, everybody. How are you? I'm doing all right. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, um, you all wanted to meet um, and kind of see what our next steps are. Have a very meager agenda. Um, so just kind of discussion for next steps and scheduled next meeting. And just want to see where you all wanted to start. Um, we've had a few mural projects kind of pop out of the larger public art commission, you know, those being the Sprague, Sprague Street Community Park uh, mural. Uh, the Ninth Wonder Mural, and then possibly the Five Royales Mural. Um, another thing you guys talked about at the retreat was having kind of a mural slash training opportunity. Um, so just want to see um, where you all wanted to want to kick off today. Um, I, I think what would be helpful before we get into the, maybe the training, but yes, like, let's talk about that too. Um, I'd love to come up with like a list of comparable cities. And then maybe from that we divide and conquer and do research to see what others, you know, what other cities are doing and how they're managing mural projects. Um, I'm sort of feeling like having that information would be really helpful. I know that, um, like Scott had talked about, I forget it was called City Walls or something in Durham. I sort of vaguely know the murals project that's going on in Cleveland. Um, but I, I don't know. I just, I thought that would be helpful to do a little bit of research to see what I'd like how other cities approach it, you know, what other people think about that. Yeah. I think there's some opportunities if we look at Canada as well, because I one of the people I follow on Instagram and who's also been a uh, uh, an artist that we've used at Sika, Rhodesworth, um, re was recently in a festival. Uh, it was like a mural fest mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, which might be kind of an interesting approach too, um, from like, you know, do temporary murals as well as permanent ones. But um, it might be interesting to see who is in charge of putting that together and, uh, you know, how, um, um, you know, how they organized it and where they got funding. Mm -hmm. so, so you want to look at just, just different models too? Peer, peer cities and then different models like uh, mm -hmm. for getting murals up. I believe uh, Richmond and Philadelphia had some pretty robust mural programs in recent years. And look at those. Yeah, maybe we can just, I mean, that would be one place to start, right? Just create a shared doc and we dump in names of cities and then we can sort of, you know, divvy it up, see if we can find contact information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Marvette, I think you're on mute. Sorry. I couldn't <laughs> computer. I'm on my phone. I couldn't get oh. my computer to open up with you guys. Um, mm -hmm. What I'm saying is when you're dealing with, um, with looking at other cities, 
I mean, by comparing us to Philadelphia, they have a pretty big budget. I've seen the mules in Philadelphia. They're all over the city. Yeah. Um, what are you looking for? Um, the way they did it, the way they planned it, the budget? Uh, I mean, what kinds of things are you looking for? Uh, I think I think all of that. <laughs> I think just uh, what does it take to have a robust and... Um, you know, um, attractive and aesthetic uh, mural program. Um, and along with that, I guess, should we also consider um, reviewing projects that are that are going in the public space? Uh, I mean, not, not that we have to be the arbiters of taste, but uh, um, there's, there are good murals and there's bad murals. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and I don't know how much we we could say about uh, things on um, private property, but we could offer guidelines uh, that would Im- improve their results. Hmm. But yeah, like it, I think it, Marvet, in, in answer to your question, I, I think we want to just see how their whole mechanism works, and then we can like select what would work in our community uh, mm-hmm. better. Maybe not quite as robust a uh, program as Philadelphia, but something more scaled down to our size, because if we did something Philadelphia size, we would run out of walls. And uh, yes, we would. Yes, we would. A short matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might also be good to also look at Baltimore's as well. They've got a really, um, uh, they, they've got a really uh, active artist community there. Hmm. And, you know, people, people seldom think of Baltimore because they're wedged between uh, Washington and New York. And it's sort of like the, the mm-hmm. stepsister of, of both cities. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, Sacramento had a big mural program that I've, that I've seen. I'm just curious, does Charlotte have murals? I think so. I'm, I think, I'm not sure. I don't know how many, but I think there's some in that um, that arts, downtown arts area. Or maybe I'm thinking of sculpture and not murals. Hey, <laughs> I just realized... Um, I've actually got somebody coming here this weekend. Uh, she's the uh, guest curator of the um, uh, Beverly McGeever show. Uh, she, and she's the former director of public arts for Scottsdale. Oh, there you go. So I think they're, that, that's, that's pretty much a one-to-one ratio of um, you know, size of city, I think. Um, so it might be, depending on how our conversations go with the <laughs> exhibition. Um, I think she, I might be able to uh, to tap her for some information as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or maybe That's after right. a decent period after the exhibition's installed. Yeah, she might be a good resource. I'm going to that area for Christmas. That's where my son lives. Oh, oh really? Yeah, he lives, actually, he lives in uh, Chandler, which okay. is right up, but it's not far. So you can you can give us some insight on on what their public art program looks like. I will I will make sure that I look for that. Okay. <laughs> While I'm holding the baby. <laughs> I think you'll have your your hands full, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, I think it's really about like doing this re- this research to what Cliff's point. If we can come up with some guidelines, figure out what's going to work for us, um, you know, also based on the budget, what we think we can handle a year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And also, if we can, we can identify the kind of uh, businesses that might be interested in, uh, you know, sharing some of the uh, some of the costs. Mm-hmm. If those exist but um we we can get examples of uh you know what 
businesses in Philadelphia, Scottsdale, or um, other places uh, yeah. are interested in doing that. I mean, I'm so impressed with, honestly, the, the mural program in Greensboro. I mean, mm -hmm. some of those artists are, you know, international artists or, you know, artists working in Miami and Windwood Walls. And I mean, more sort of national and inter international recognized graffiti artists. Um, the price tag is high, you know, could be upward of a hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I th think most of those are privately funded. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've always thought that, you know, you know for, for, oh, it's, I mean, it's easy to say it's another thing to find the money, but I think, uh, I think Winston-Salem is ready for a really amazing piece. And um, I've always mm -hmm. wondered, you know, there's that huge wall that's on the side of um, the uh, Hotel Indigo that's mm -hmm. uh, it's crying out for a, just a giant mural um, on that side, like, you know, something Banksy-esque that you might see in, uh, mm -hmm. in Holland, mm -hmm. um, like a, a giant child watering a plant or something like that. <laughs> Right, people would get. I think people would get behind that, and that could mm -hmm. be an ex example that could be pointed to for a, you know, a strong mural program. Is that the one facing Marshall Park? Yeah. Yeah. And they're an art. They're an art hotel. I bet they. I bet they would get behind it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I mean, as long as that wall re remains as open as it is now, and our. I mean that's that's going to be a plaza, right? There's no buildings. Oh, you know what? Uh, there's there were plans to build. Uh, so there's a gap. The park ends, and where that fence is. So I'm going to pull up Google Street View now. Um. Yeah, no this this wouldn't be this wouldn't be a good one. Oh. Just because there is there, I mean, there are plans. Okay. There, I'm going to share. So, this is the wall you're talking about here. Yeah, right behind the tree. But there, where this fence is, is mm. another building lot. And they were, right before COVID, they were going to put another building here. It was going to be an expand. I think it was going to be a different brand of hotel, but it was going to share the lobby with the oh, Indigo. Okay. okay. And then where this is, that's where the where the fence changes. That's where the park starts. Okay. So maybe so, yeah. whatever they build here, but whatever they build here is going to have windows out onto the park. I bet so. That's a shame. That's a neat program you have, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is just Google Google Street View. Let me see if there's something on the back of this, but I think they were going to build on the back of it too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's yeah. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but maybe not. Well, okay. They yeah, stuck yeah, all that, those windows in, but there's right. this elevator to the yeah. to the right there. Yeah, that. Um, mm -hmm would make something really interesting, I think. What is that construction? That's a park? Will be a park? Yes, it'll be a park maybe as early as January. Hmm. Well, then, even that, you, know, you got that area underneath the windows. If that's going to be a park and as long as nothing's, um, nothing's going to be built in that space, oh, I mean, that's, yeah. Who knows? But um, to have a have a mural overlooking that park would be really nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That doesn't say like "Welcome to Deke Town" or something. Yeah, God, <laughs> no. Jeez, uh, I feel like it, it's kind of intense. Yeah, that, that's also kind of a reason why we need to hop on it too. Is that bridge going to be there forever? No, it's gone now. Oh, okay. Yeah, this shows you how much I drive around downtown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, where's that bridge? Yeah, okay. Okay. 
I think yeah. we mentioned. I think we mentioned that the um, uh, at the retreat, one of the um, one of the tasks to building this program is to to get a database of possible spaces, mm -hmm. um, and maybe even right. You know, like pre preload some of the people that would be interested in in actually having something on their building, and then we can it'd be easier to pick and choose. Mm -hmm. This is another one that I like. The yes. Marriott. Put a 15 story mural on there. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. That would be a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Talk to her on this. Yeah. You did for one hour, so I'm impressed. That, so this that is wall is, to, yeah. yeah what this is, is meant to stay open because that's the passageway just underneath it. So uh, that's so funny. Why is that painted like that? <laughs> it's the odd fellows hall, isn't it? Yeah. And maybe that's that's the ghost of the building that was next to it. Hmm. I don't know. Somebody's idea of an interesting facade in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks like it's been like that for a long time, since at least 2007. You know, if we could chat with them, that would be a good wall to to redo the Ancaster Shields mural on. Yeah. Well, I mean, the maybe the Ancaster Shields is in. Oh. That, I mean, it's just that. I can show you pictures. That that wall is ruined. Oh, it is. I thought. It yeah, was. they've got a huge. Uh, it won't show up here because they just installed it. But there's a huge vent um, vent shaft from uh, the new kitchen for the Me the Mexican restaurant. That's oh, there I now. remember you showed us pictures. It was coming or something. Yeah. Yeah. And it just it it just stabs right through the the second panel where the second panel would be. Oh. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not... oh. yeah, you can't see it there, but oh, you see where yeah. that you see where that one's popping up there, uh, right above the roof line. Or I think that's that's actually a okay. That that's actually a roof drain, but that second panel just has a big stainless steel shaft coming out of it. Oh. But you need that amount of wall space, like that, right, for the one, two, yeah, three, six. There were six. Unless, unless they're you know, unless they're scaled down, and it can be unless it can be scaled down effectively. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, really, that uh, that piece was perfect right there. Right. Marta, to answer your question, I did a quick. Google search. It looks like Charlotte does have a pretty big um, mural program called Talking Walls and also Charlotte Shout, in all caps, Shout. Um, I could, I could find, like, once we create this list and we can put our initials by things, I'm happy to, uh, I, th I think I have a good contact in Charlotte. Right. As we are, um, putting together a list for research and then um, I guess also uh, locations that people might be interested in having a mural. Are we also thinking about street murals as well? Things that go on the ground? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, do we want to consider doing like traffic calming areas and uh, crosswalks uh, as part of this, this program? Right now? Instead of just walls, I think that's or a that, different is, category. Yeah, it's like a different stakeholders. Like Department yeah. of Transportation is involved with that. Um, yeah, I feel like that gets more complicated about traffic patterns and things, right? Yeah. 
But I love that idea. I've seen some like great, really interesting, right? Like creative crosswalks and yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, if it's yeah. if it's on just a sidewalk, does it have to be oh really involved uh, with? Yeah, yeah, sidewalks sidewalks are hard to get um, get permission for than roads. Um, we did when we were working with Roadsworth. Um, it was impossible to get the city to even talk about uh, you know painting on their sidewalks and also painting on their streets. Um, we had the best luck uh, with um, the DOT. Um, what's his name? The state DOT. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his first name. His last name's Ivy. Um, uh, Pat Ivy. I, Pat Ivy was very open and very easy to work with. Hmm. So any street that has a number on it, you know, like a highway number or a, something like that would be DOT territory. And they were, they were supportive of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got, um, we did uh, a crosswalk uh, over by um, Winston-Salem state. Um, oh, we did something else. We did some other places too. Mostly, mostly we stuck to, um, uh, to like uh, drives on Winston-Salem state. Um, I, should, I need to get my pictures out and show you what we did with them. But it was uh, it was a great project. In fact, some of them were visible from space. It's pretty cool. <laughs> space. Oh. Well, you had to zoom in, but uh, yeah, like the pyramids. <laughs> But if you look at if you look at Rosworth's stuff, um, he's his name. That's hmm? how do you spell his name? Um, just like it sounds, R O A D S W O R T H. And th- I mean, this is what he does for a living. Um, he um, he goes all over Canada and the United States doing these things. Oh, these are great. Aren't they? Super fun. Yeah. I think the one that I saw that he did for Mural Fest was actually from four years ago. And it was a um first maybe six years ago, but it was a um it was a refugee one where he painted um chain link fencing uh across the road and then painted these hands. Hands. And, yeah. hands. I, I see that. That's I was that's intense. Yeah. That's really cool. So he can he can go from everywhere from like kid friendly, humorous to like really deep and meaningful all in the one fell swoop. Where sorry, where so where did you do these? That was back um where just after just after we um were um assumed by the state Mm. um we had to close to have a lot of roof work done and the rest of that i think um i'm gonna say like 13 years ago 12 Mm. 13 years ago Mm. that's when you had the uh the thing in the like on the billboard the mannequins on the billboard oh yeah (laughs) yes yeah yeah that was um and actually in in our defense his uh his work was a lot a lot more humorous a lot more kid friendly he was doing things like big uh tape giraffes and giant parking meters and they would just show up uh and then they'd be gone in like you know an hour hour and a half people would steal them or uh they'd say they would come along and collect them and right after he signed the contract with them he came out with this um uh venice biennale piece that he did with the uh child in clothing it's the first piece that he did in clothing but it was a child in clothing floating face down with a little red balloon in, in the canal uh so i thought oh I, i'm hoping he's in a better mood when he gets here and yeah no he wasn't <laughs> yeah it's also also the one where I appeared on CNN and they said that I was the artist. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was a good week. Good times. 
journalists are overworked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so does this give you enough to to jump enough of a jumping off point? <laughs> Do you want to? I think we should take this in like bite-sized pieces. And I'm just speaking for myself, knowing everything yes. that's like on my plate. I'm sure you guys are like experiencing, right? Like come like end of the year. Um, but I can see if we start this list and then, you know, maybe we each take like two or three cities, right? And then give ourselves enough time and then we can come back and report back or something. I don't, you know, or, or, or share our notes from those conversations or something. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Bite-sized pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so we eat an elephant. Yeah. Yeah. Or a 747. <laughs> um, do we want to talk about the other three? that are kind of lurking on the horizon here, Sprague Street, Ninth Wonder, and Five Royals, or uh, uh, are we at a so, place where... So Sprague Street, that was, that was like, that was recommended for approval at the last meeting. That's going to have to go through the contract process and everything. Um, and then she can do that. She'll do that in the summer, I guess. The ninth wonder every once in a while I check in and they're like, yeah, we're going to get you a sketch soon. And I don't have a sketch. So I don't know what's going on with them. And then the five Royals. Um, we, I am trying to nail down Drew <laughs> Gersmeyer on permission and kind of just figure out what we what we need uh, to fund a, a mural on private property and have it protected enough that we could we could fund it. So yeah, just uh, kind of working through some of those details. Uh, okay. Kelly, for, for the ninth wonder mural, um, is the location determined yet? I know there was the they have level. permission for the sixth and cherry. A parking deck and they're gonna okay. do a um, they're gonna do a sketch on that a, a sketch yeah you know, a digital sketch of of what the mural would look like on that and that's what we've been waiting for okay so just sorry and then going back to the five royals so we're not at a place yet um once you've had that conversation and to figure the all of that out with Drew, then we would put together the request that would go out. Mm -hmm. Okay. For artists. Okay. Yeah. And we'll meet with the family and everybody. And yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they're really going to be excited. Yeah. I think it's, I do too. it's just going to be a good thing for them i think all around i think it's a great project yeah long overdue yeah i think it's gonna be a great project all right okay and then um murals training i think um just uh a note on that we um nc i uh NC, i think ncma is doing uh a mural workshop with one of the uh, artists that we had from um Black and intersections. Um, just a second. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask. That's also a good question. When we are reaching out to these different cities to see what their programs are, to see if they do any kind of mural trainings. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, um, I just asked Alex, and he doesn't know anything about it. But there's um uh they are having some kind of a workshop with i think i think it's destiny Adelucan from um uh black and intersections our show mm -hmm. um so it might be interesting you know if we could uh see how that program went and we we bring it over here um because they they would give you uh 
you know, that would that's the way to find out the best paints to use for the most uh, longest lasting images. Um, protective coatings that you, that could be um, uh, also painted over for in, in case you know uh, you want to change or um, you know repair uh, pieces. Also, also make them uh, you know um, graffiti proof mm. and so forth. So. Mm. They did do a workshop in um, September. Oh, that was it then. Yeah. So I mean, at least they we could get the feedback from how it went. Okay. Um, did they did they say the artist on that was a destiny or was I think it might be somebody um, else? A Sloan. Sloan. Teal, Sloan. Yeah. Teal, Teal or ben? Yeah. Teal ben? All their last names are Sloan Shaban. Shaban. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, no, she's she's really good. Um, in fact, she would be she'd be a good person to uh, consider for a mural. Uh, you know, if we want to do like another library project or uh, uh, something like that. I like the idea of having a workshop like that because I feel like it um, connects with the creative process with the artist. Um, yeah, kind of take it from idea to the next. Um, to the mural, you know, um, mm -hmm. oh, and and yeah. then in um, the inclusive art committee meeting, uh, we had a conversation around uh, deeper professional development uh, for artists mm -hmm. and yeah. how we help them um, not not with the creative process necessarily, but you know, how do you apply for calls? Like, how do you prepare yourself? business-wise to yeah. um, take on a mural project. How to, how to correctly fill out an RFP? Yes. Yeah. We're, we're going to have the purchasing director is going to come to the next Public Art Commission meeting to kind of do a little presentation on that. Oh, fun. OK. That's great. <laughs> oh, fun. That's great. <laughs> no, I meant that. That's, that's, that's a great idea. Um, so she's, yeah, Kelly, I just sent you the um, yeah the North Carolina Museum of Art, and I I think the slow now that I see the work, I think that she's done several murals in Greensboro. She's amazing. Yes, she is amazing. Yeah, so I, this is this is about the workshop. Okay. Yeah, it's a four hour four hour workshop. Mm hmm. And I think she uh, she works with spray paint mm. too, so that. I mean, that in and of itself is like just, uh, you know, technical stuff it would be great. That's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, this is all <laughs> share screen. I'm just like, oh, cool. <laughs> we're, we're glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, there she is. Ah, oh, this is so neat. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting though. Like, yeah, eighty dollars for members, ninety dollars for non-members. Um, will be interesting to find out, like, how it went, Cliff. Yeah. Like, how many how many people signed up? Okay. You know, what was it like? I don't know. Okay, let me uh, let me look into that. Okay. Where it says like East Building Studio One, was that in maybe like in one of their? Do they have classroom spaces? Yeah, they do. Okay, so that was in probably one of their. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they've also got a 
really beautiful mural on that east building too um mm -hmm. oh yeah i want to find out you know uh, who did that and that'd be that'd be good for one of those really expensive uh high profile uh mm -hmm. murals right and like how long has that been in there have they had to touch it up i don't think know? so but yeah. it's i mean it's on a it's on a museum building uh right. so i mean it's, really gonna mess it's pretty well stuff. protected and i'm I'm sure they uh they have you know cleaning program and stuff that goes along right. with that right um so do you want to i could make a you know i'm gonna type up the media the minutes for this i could Kind of type up a list on a Google Doc or a you know whatever, um, you know Microsoft Doc or whatever they're called, um, and send it out to everybody. Um, and if you want to claim any any part of it, yeah, that'd be great. Um, I claim the part. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a Google spreadsheet and then we can just add like we can have the city and then like a contact information uh like who's going to who's going to be responsible for reaching out to that city or that person and then we can just like add notes and yeah. keep it all in one place. It'd be great. Okay. Okay. I might be able to get some names from Kim too. As and uh from uh, the uh who's who is the former director of uh Scottsdale. Okay. Uh, public art. Great. Yeah. And I'll, yeah, and I can reach out to my public art contact in Cleveland because I know that's pretty, they have a ro pretty robust mural pro mural program. I'll reach out to my contact in Charlotte. So yeah, I think we'll, this will be good. Good. All righty. Do you want to schedule a next meeting? Is it easier to do it like this instead of back and forth over doodle polls? Oh, this is easier. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Backing uh, up a doodle poll. Yeah, I think if we can give ourselves some time because we're going to have to make contact with people and and then there's the holidays. Yeah, yeah. let's wait till after the holidays. Yeah. I could do January easily. I could do January. Uh, when are you all thinking in January? You want to do in person? Let's try in person. Yeah. It depends Ooh. on what day. Next semester, my classes are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday is better for you? Yes, they are. I mean, I could maybe zoom in while they're working. <laughs> but yeah, no, we could we could look at a we look at Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm usually good on Wednesday or Friday. Well, Friday I'm good. The way. Mm -hmm. Wanna shoot for a Wednesday, Wednesday the eleventh. 18th. Let's do the 18th. I'm good anytime. I'm really good, like anytime after two o'clock, 1 30 or two o'clock. Anytime after, I'm good. Yeah. I think I'm good for the 18th also. I'll be I'll be installing a show, but it's a reasonably easy show. Mm. Shannon, how does that look for you? Uh, this is for me. You want to say three o'clock? Sure. Let me just make sure a room is available. It is. I can. Oh, boom. 
just <laughs> sent you all an invitation and reserved the room. Instant gratification. Right. That is so much nicer than doing doodle polls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for organizing this meeting. I think it's yeah helpful. This is great. I think this is going to be a good project. Yeah. Yeah, I think this will this will work. Okay. All right. Does anybody have anything else you would like to add? No, I don't think so. Right. I would ask the question, who is the contact in Greensboro that you said does the murals you mentioned? Well, I did a tour with this guy, Philip. Hold, please. What is Philip's name? Oh. Um, oh, God. Philip Marsh. And he's really um, sort of been the liaison and he's an artist himself. He did a couple of, he did a handful of murals, but he's been really responsible for um, bringing in these national and international artists and being the liaison with whoever the private, the, the building owner and the artist. Um, and he's really, he really has a great system. Um, you know, and even he's like, look, if you're paying a hundred thousand dollars, like, to, you know, I mean, he's bringing artists from Switzerland and bringing artists from all over the world. And, you know, he's like, I always, if there's budgeted time and we're paying for that time and the mural gets done early and there's extra materials, there's extra paint, we'll go do another wall. You know, he's like, I'm about like maximizing the project. Well, and so it's very, it was very apparent to me that you know, you, you need that project manager when you're doing a, when you're doing those kind of projects, like mm -hmm. someone to, you know, and then you've got to build in, you know, there's weather, you're bringing someone in, there could be weather delays, rain, et cetera. So you seem to have a very good system in place. Well, rather than reinventing the wheel, why don't we uh, set up a time to go over to Greensboro? Let's and, do it. And he, he and offered with him too. And he, yeah. And yeah. He offered, he's like, bring me in if you want to bring me in as like you know to talk or as a consultant um uh yeah I did a whole walking tour with him but and I think that's more beneficial um yeah. if, if we all if we want to do that I oh absolutely so, okay that's... I can set that up okay um should we try to when should we try to shoot for that let's do a doodle poll <laughs> um, bundled up can't be a day like today I moved here to, to be warm <laughs> yeah I hope you weren't too bitterly disappointed uh, <laughs> let's see I could anytime February and March is good for, good for me even into April okay I'll just I'll, maybe at our next meeting when we meet in January um, I'll reach out to him now. Okay. Um, and just say, hey, you know, we would we'd love to do this walkthrough. Like our our mural committee would love to do this walkthrough with you. He's very generous. I'm sure he'll yeah be happy to do that. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. All right then. All right. Thanks, everyone. Right. Thank you. Thank you all. Happy Thanks. Happy Thanksgiving and all of that. Yeah, you too. Right, you too. Thanks to you all. all. Stay warm okay. and dry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.